The guitar in Panama starts out with a hard rock major chord intro, a minor chord bridge, and open power chord chorus. The lead guitar solo has a creative twist on a traditional rock and blues style, leading to a haunting halftime and a chorus outro. Panama is the third track from Van Halen's 1984 album. The guitar intro to Panama can be played with three basic chord shapes. Start with an E major with the index finger barred across the ninth fret of strings two, three, and four. Next, add the middle finger to the tenth fret on the second string and the chord becomes E sus4. Drop the index finger down to the second string seven, middle finger to the third string eight, and ring on the fourth string nine, and you have a B major chord. Take the same three chord shapes, drop them down two frets, and you have a D when you bar the seventh fret with the index. D sus4 when you add the middle finger to the second string eighth fret, and when you play second string five, third string six, and fourth string seven, you have an A. Phrase one takes these chord shapes and adds open E palm muted pedal tones for the intro. Start with the ninth fret E, two pedal tones, add the middle finger for E sus4, two pedal tones, then B, and two pedal tones. Repeat E, two pedal tones, E sus4 and one pedal tone, B and one pedal tone. Drop down to the seventh fret D, two pedal tones, D sus4, two pedal tones, A, then the open second string with the tremolo bar dive and return. The second part is almost the same. Start with one pedal tone, E, two pedal tones, E sus4, pedal, B in pedal, E again in pedal. Instead of E sus4, repeat E in one pedal, B one pedal, then drop down to D two pedals, D sus4 two pedals, and end on A. Let's practice at half speed. Chords to the next section start off with a C sharp minor. This is played with the middle finger on the second string fifth fret, pinky on the third string six, ring on the fourth string six, and index on the fifth string fourth fret. From there, bar the fourth fret of the strings two, three, and four. This is a B major chord. Add the middle finger to the second string fifth fret and the ring finger to the fourth string six, and you have another way to play E major. Bar the second fret, and you have A major. Phrase two starts off with a pick slide down strings four, five, and six to a C sharp minor chord. Let the chord ring out and add five palm muted pedal tones on the fifth string fourth fret. Then to the fourth fret B chord. Next add the middle and ring finger to form E. Pull off to the bar B. Hit a palm muted open fifth string. Then the B chord and slide down two frets to A. Next strum two A chords with the open fifth string added, 
then end with the fifth string second fret played with artificial harmonics or pinch harmonics. To achieve this, allow the tip of your finger to touch the string at the same moment the pick strikes. Add to this several full bends. This section repeats, but there is a slight variation. Play a C-sharp 5 by omitting the second string note. Play the second string, fourth fret by barring the index finger, to the third string 6, back to second string 4, then 5. Fourth fret B chord, add the middle finger for a B sus 4, open A pedal tone, B chord, slide to A, then two A chords with the open fifth string, then build up with six open A pedal tones. The full B chord with the index finger on the fifth string two, and bar the fourth fret with the ring on strings two, three, and four. This is a very quick staccato chord, which means you play it, then silence it. The end fill is the second string five, pull off to four, then palm mute the notes third string four, second string five, four, third string four. Next is a series of harmonics starting on the first string fifth fret. Lightly touch the string directly above the fret wire and do not push down on the string. Next play fourth fret harmonics on the second and third string. First string five, then five with second string four, then add the third string fourth fret and strum all three strings three times. Here it is with the practice tempo. Chorus rhythm comes in for phrase three, starting with an open six string E, or an E5 power chord by adding the fifth string second fret, followed by two palm muted six string pedal tones, switch to A5, played with the fifth string open, fourth string second fret with the index finger, and third string second fret with the middle finger. Then the fifth string pedal tone, switch to D5 by lifting the index finger, Keep the middle finger on the third string, second fret, and add the second string, third fret with the ring, followed by two fourth string pedal tones. Back to A5, and the fifth string pedal tone, D5, A5, open six string pedal tones, then a G5, slide up two frets to A5, and down to G5. The G5 uses the index finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, ring finger on the 5th string 5, and pinky on the 4th string 5. Slide up 2 frets to A, back to G.
The verse combines several double note patterns. First, the third and fourth string open to the fourth and fifth string, second fret. Then some random open E notes. Next is the first and second string open, second and third string, second fret, played with the middle finger and index finger. Then move your middle finger up to the third fret and add the first string open, followed by random open E tones. Back to the third and fourth string open, played twice, then the fourth and fifth string, second fret. Open E notes. Next is the second and third strings open, second fret, add the second string, third fret, and first string open. The end tag starts with a pick scrape down the third, fourth, and fifth strings. Overlap that with a hand scrape down all the strings, then a very deep pick scrape that starts on three and four. Rotate your wrist in a sweeping motion to change to four and five. Continue to switch to five and six. This leads us to the bridge. The bridge starts off with a B5 that includes a low F sharp note. Bar the second fret of the fifth and sixth strings, add the fourth string fourth with the ring and third string four with the pinky. Let the chord ring out and angle your fingers so that you can pick the open first and second string. Lift your pinky and add the middle finger to the third string third fret and pick strings two, three, and four. And repeat, picking two, three, four, and slide up to a C-sharp five with a low G-sharp note. This is the same as the B5, just two frets up. While this rings out, play the open first and second strings, and the sixth fret on strings three and four. Repeat the deep pick scrape and slide down the neck from the 19th fret. Play the fifth string five to sixth string six, then five with vibrato. Fifth string three to sixth string four, then three with vibrato. Second fret with vibrato, open, then a full B chord. The end tag is a first string fourth fret harmonic, then palm mute the second string fourth fret, third string four, second string five, four, third string four, lift the palm mute and play the second string five, four, then harmonic on the third string four, then hold the harmonic chord by lightly touching the first string five with the second and third string four and strum five times. Then start the chorus off.
To bridge the chorus to the lead, play the same E5 with pedal tones, A5, pedal, D5, pedal. From the D5, keep your ring finger on the second string third fret, move the middle finger to the fifth string third fret, and strum five through two. The bottom of the middle finger should touch and mute the fourth string. Switch to the fifth string second fret with the index and play all four strings, letting them all ring out. Then fifth string open, three, open. The guitar solo starts off in phrase seven by holding the second string seven with the index and bending the third string nine with the ring. Play this again and add the first and second string seventh with an index bar. Play the bend again, then double the index bar on the first and second string seven. Play the bend again, but hold the bend Pick the second and third strings, then release the bend. Pull off to the third string seven, hammer back to nine, and bend. Hold the bend and dip the tremolo bar. Return the bar and release the bend. Then bend and release three more times, ending on a fourth bend. Phrase eight, bend the third string ninth fret to the second string seven, 10 pull the seven, play third string nine, second string seven, 10 pull the seven, first string seven, second string 10 pull the seven, third string nine, second string seven, 10 pull the seven, first string seven, second string 10 pull the seven, third string nine. Start off phrase nine by picking second string seven, then third string 10, pull the nine to seven, hammer to nine, second string seven, then third string seven, bend, release, bend, release. Bend the third string nine and hold the bend while tapping the 14th fret with the tip of a finger from your picking hand. Pull off to nine, then tap 12 to nine, 14 to nine, 16 to nine, 14 to nine, then release the bend. To end phrase 10, pull off to seven, hammer to nine, and bend, dip the bar, Return, release the bend, pull off to seven, hammer to nine, pull off to seven, bend, release, bend, and release. solo ends in phrase 11 with a series of pinch harmonics, starting on the third string seven with a bend, pick seven again and release the bend, fourth string nine, fifth string nine, third string seven, bend and release, fifth string nine, eight, seven, down to five, with a bend and release.
Immediately after the solo, phrase 12 introduces the halftime section by sliding the index up the fifth string to the ninth fret. Hammer to 10, pull to 9, sixth string 10, to fifth string 7 with a bend and release, slide down to 2, then bend and release 4 times. This is repeated several times with many variations. Next, pick the 2nd fret and slide up to 9, play 10, 9, then the 6th string 10, back to 5th string 9, and a half bend, release, then mute two notes on the 6th and 5th string, followed by two C5 power chords, 6th string 8, played with 5th string 10. Pick 5th string 5, and slide up to 9, pick 10, pull to 9, then 6th string 10, back to 9, half step bend, release, bend, release, 6th string 10, then 5th string 7, bend and release 3 times, and play an E5 on the 5th string 7 with 4th string 9. Phrase 13 continues the halftime section, adding a D minor 6 slash 9 chord. Play this with the index on the 6th string 1, skip to the 4th string open, ring finger on the 3rd string 2, 2nd string and 1st string are open. Instead of strumming this, Eddie holds this chord and picks strings 6, 4, 3, 1, 2, Start on the 5th string 7, slide up to 9, 10, pull to 9, 6th string 10, slide down to the D minor 6 slash 9 chord. Pick strings 6, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, and add a half bend and release, bend and release to the last note. Slide from the 5th string 2 up to 9, picking as you start off the slide. Play 10, pull to 9, to 6th string 10, hold an E5 power chord, 5th string 7, 4th string 9, with the ring, and 3rd string 9 with the pinky. Instead of picking the full chord, palm mute the 5th string, then play the rest of the chord. Repeat, play the palm mute again, then lift the ring and pinky to play the barred 7th fret. Palm mute, then return to the E5. 5th string 9 with a half step bend and release 3 times. 6th string 10, then palm mute 8. Then play 8 again with 5th string 9 adding vibrato to the 5th string. Double palm mute on 6th string 8. 5th string 9 with pinch harmonics and vibrato, then 10 with pinch harmonics and vibrato. Back to the palm muted 6th string 8. End phrase 13 by sliding 5th string 9 up to 10. With the index finger, play a hammer pull 9, 10, 9 to 6th string 10. Back to 5th string 9, slide to 7 with vibrato, slide up to 9, Back down to 7, bend, release, bend, release, and slide down.
Phrase 14 adds more power chords to the halftime section, starting with a slide up to the fifth string 9, 10, 9, 6 string 10, palm mute 8, play 8 with fifth string 9 and vibrato, 8 with 10, double on 8 with palm mutes, add fifth string 9, then 10, and slide down the neck. Repeat the same intro, 9, 10, 9, 6 string 10, then add an E5 power chord on the 5th string 7, 4th and 3rd string 9. Open palm mute, E5, 2 palm mutes E5, 1 palm mute E5. 5th string 9 with a half bend, release, bend, release, 10, 9, palm mute 6 string 10, 8, play 8 with 9 in vibrato, 8 with 10, palm mute 8 two times, then repeat 8 with 9, 8 with 10, vibrato, and slide down both strings. Phrase 15 builds up from the halftime section to the last chorus, starting with palm muted eighth notes on the open sixth string. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. Switch to the D minor six slash nine, but only play strings six through three. The fifth string should be muted by the bottom of your index finger. Quickly mute the chord and play eighth notes on the sixth string first fret. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. Play the same chord, but move up to the sixth string second fret. Then pedal tones there. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. Switch to a G5 with the middle finger on the sixth string three. Mute the fifth string. Open four, open three, and play the second string three with the ring finger. Palm mute three, six string, third fret notes, then three without palm mutes. Switch to an A flat five chord, six string four with fifth string six fret. Palm mute the fourth fret five times. Drop down to the third with a slight bend. Then play an A5 on the fifth and seventh fret. Four palm mutes on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Drop down to the third fret with a slight bend. Play the fifth string first fret with the open fourth and third strings. Play three pedal tones on the fifth string one then double on the 6th string open, and on a B5 chord. 5th string 2, and bar the ring finger across the 4th fret of the 4th and 3rd string. Next, build up on the chord, starting with the 5th and 4th string notes, then add the 3rd string, then end by adding the 2nd string 4th fret to the bar.
Throughout the song, the parts that we've learned repeat with subtle variations. For example, in the chorus, Eddie might play an A5 to a 6 string 3rd fret with vibrato in place of the G5, A5, G5 power chord slide. He'll also double and triple pick some chords, like the A5 to D5 in the chorus, instead of playing pedal tones. In the last chorus, Mr. Van Halen plays E5 to A5 with pedal tones, then triple strums the D5. The rest of the rhythm is the same, but the song ends abruptly after the G to A5, G5 power chord slide. Thank you. 